Hi friends, today I'm going to be testing out this black brush marker that is from Walmart. These brush pens are about two to three dollars and I saw them there the other day and I thought it might be worth trying it and seeing if it works. So the brush tip looks like this and then it also has the bullet tip on the other end like the Tombow dual tip brush pens. So let me get my Tombow and we can just compare the two. As you can see, they're somewhat similar, but they do have a different shape. And then if we look at the other end, the Walmart brush is quite a bit smaller and not quite as wide as the Tombow. So let me just try these out and we will see what we think of them. Now I have tried a Walmart brush pen before, but it was quite a while ago before I even knew how to use a brush pen. So I kind of tried it and then I thought this is really hard and then I just got rid of it. So I thought maybe I'd try again and just see what we think. It is definitely very pigmented and has a lot of ink. Um, the brush tip is pretty easy to use, um, but it is a little bit harder to get thinner strokes. It seems like it might be a little bit more flexible so I'm not getting as thin of strokes as the Tombow. But it also could just be a learning curve. Sometimes when I get a new brush, it takes me a few times to get it, the hang of it. Now it definitely makes the same squeaky noise as the Tombow dual tip brush pens, which I don't know, do you love that or do you hate it? I never honestly noticed, but I know that some people are really bothered by that. So I honestly never thought twice about it, but now I notice all the time since I've heard people make comments about that. So these are definitely fun to use, but like I said, I'm having a hard time getting really thin strokes. So that might just be something I need to practice more with, but it definitely might be worth um, spending a couple dollars if you can't get to a place where you can get a Tombow or some other kind of brush pens, or if you just want to try out something new. I kind of just like to try out new products and see if I can find what works perfectly for me. Um, I will say that one thing about these brush pens is that I had to open every single one, and this is the only one I found that didn't look like it had some kind of like film all over it. I do not know if it was mold. I kind of hope it wasn't mold, but it was like a layer of something on it. And so I don't know if they were just really old brush pens and they had been there for a long time, but if you do buy these, definitely, definitely open them up and make sure that it's not fuzzy all over because that's pretty gross. So let me just compare and see what we think. Now this Tombow brush pen is a little bit frayed, but I'm still going to be using it. So as you can see, the color is just a little bit different. This one is just a darker shade of black, like a true black. But I do think with some practice, you could probably get the other one to look pretty similar. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth spending the $2 or should we just shop online and buy the Tombows? So I also feel like I should point out the fact that by just using these a few times, they're already frayed and you can already see some wear on this brush. I don't know if that's much different though than a Tombow because if I was using a Tombow on this paper, they do also fray pretty easily. So I don't know if that's a thing because of the Walmart brush pen or if it's just because I'm using paper that's not specifically meant for markers because if you do use your nice brush pens on cheap paper, they definitely will fray and you will see this. Some people love that look and some people don't, so it kind of depends. But if you do not like that look, definitely use paper that is meant for brush markers. Let me know what you think or if you have tried these and I would love to hear from you what your favorite brush pen or brush marker is. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a great day. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can find me on Instagram at how to hand letter. And, and I will keep posting over there when I am not posting videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.